I'm Christopher Neruzzi. I'm a first year PhD student in the computer science department. We want to track bumblebees and figure out the flights that they take across the landscape when they're foraging and exploring. And the way that we do this is by putting a tiny little Bluetooth tag on the back of the bee. And we have these transmitters which send data to the tags which we can then use machine learning to reconstruct the probable flight path that the bee took. Bees are a very beloved but also very important pollinator and are just really fascinating in terms of their colonial behavior and how they react to changes in their environment. Why bees? Because bees are awesome. So many farms, so much food is rely on bees pollinating. They're such an important like indicator species of how healthy the environment is. They'll react so quickly to like environmental changes and you can see from a bee's like behavior what effect a pesticides, disease have on pollination in that area. They are under threat by environmental changes, but we don't really know how pollinators such as bumblebees behave in the broader landscape. So of course, being able to monitor pollinator health, see what they do, and also manage land to improve pollinator efficacy directly means that we will have more food on the planet. And of course, as we're aware, in an increasing population that we have, that's pretty crucial. Bumblebees are very strong. They can carry 70 milligrams of pollen, and so our tag weighs about 35 milligrams. They still have plenty of space to forage and move around, and their movement is unimpeded, really, by the tag. They can still fly. The bee is okay. It can still forage. Really, as well, the bees that you see foraging, though it's a little bit morbid, are actually bees that are close to the end of their life. The majority of their life, they will spend it in the hive. It's only towards the end of their life, in the last week or so, that they emerge from the hive to begin foraging so the bees that you see out there have lived most of their natural life so tagging them in this way you're not impeding much of their lifespan. I never thought I'd come into university I'd be working on ecology and saving the environment I thought my, my dissertation would be making a new application or a new website uh, this is a really like novel implementation of computer science and I think it's quite exciting. I've kind of always really loved insects I mean I keep some pet insects at home so this research kind of felt like a natural evolution of that to me but also I'm really big on you know the whole save the environment thing and I think that especially the effects of it on our food supply the way that that could be crippled just by simple changes in the environment is quite scary to me. So I've got these bee earrings actually. They were given to me for my birthday uh, a few weeks back. I've got a bee pen from my cousin. I've got a bee bracelet and all my birthday cards were, were bee themed as well. So happy bee day, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have bee themed pillows, bee themed stickers, none of which that I've bought myself. They've just been given to me. I've become the bee guy in all of my friendship circles now. <laughs> One of my housemates put up a bird, a bird feeder now. Oh, so right. They're sort of in like the, the moth trap and the bird feeder are out at the same time. You sort of don't trust the, the moth trap is just like a buffet for birds. I was going to say, I think the moth trap becomes a bird feeder at a certain point.